Republican candidates for Senate governor and Congress were also out on the campaign trail today. The candidates spent most of the day traveling around the state on a bus and speaking to voters before ending the tour with a rally in Manchester. Kristen Carosa spent the day out with the candidates and has more from the newsroom. Kristen. The candidates have been on this bus tour for three straight days, making several stops around New Hampshire. They say they've been having some serious conversations with voters about solutions and change. After a day on the campaign trail, Republican candidates Scott Brown, Walt Havenstein, Frank Ginta, and Marilinda Garcia pulled into a rally in Manchester in style. Supporters packed inside an airplane hangar at Manchester Airport flanked by Senator Kelly Ayotte, former Governor John H. Sununu, and former Senator John E. Sununu. A better America for our next generation. An opportunity to hear from the candidates just two days before the election. You deserve a brighter future. You deserve your country back. We have a great opportunity on Tuesday to get this country moving again. 48 hours left. Do not wake up on November 5th wishing you had done more. That's the message the candidates spent the better part of Sunday talking about with Granite Staters. Hi, I'm Scott. How are you doing? Candidates stopped in Windham at this country store, then it was on to Nashua to mingle with some sports fans. They say at the end of the day, the people they've talked to are looking for change. It's important if you want to change uh, direction, you've got to change senators. And when you have someone who's voting so much with the president, it's, it's very difficult to say you're fighting for New Hampshire. Overall, I'd say there's just a very uh, pervasive sense that whatever's going on in Washington right now isn't working and they don't like it and they want to change. I find that wherever we go people are concerned about the economy, people are concerned about uh, the things that Scott was talking, energy costs, health care costs that are really affecting our small businesses in particular. Candidates will be on this bus tour through the end of election day. They say they'd like to thank the voters who've been part of the discussion so far on this tour. Live in the newsroom, Kristen Carosa, WMUR News 9.